The PAP shootout will take place tonight at the Can-Am Speedway. Here's Mel Bussler. By the way, local driver Tim Fuller has finished five times in second place in the PAP shootout. He deserves a win. Wednesday night, the PAP shootout will take place at Can-Am Speedway. It's an event that started in 1980 and was brought back in 2018 when Tyler Bartlett bought the track. It has turned into one of the biggest events at the racetrack every year. Um, got ESS, the Empire Super Sprints. Uh, this year we have the 358 uh, Dirt Car um, Modified Tour. Um, so all the big guys will be there for that, and uh, as, as well as the Dirt Car Sportsman Series as well. So um, three big races, one night. Um, looking forward to it, and it's looking like we're going to have beautiful weather as well. The Dirt Modified Series will feature a strong contingent of local drivers. So the 358 uh, Small Block Tour, um, it, it's always hit home good with Can-Am regulars. Uh, out of the last few years that I can recall, Majority of the top 10 um, have, have been right at the top of the hunt for uh, the title. Um, this year, Lance Bullocks is coming in, leading the points. Um, so you're looking at a majority of the Can-Am field that runs real strong when we go traveling. So it's pretty cool to see uh, how strong the teams run um, when the big boys come to town. And that's always been a thing at Can-Am is it's kind of its own animal, and the regulars really do a good job. Um, when the big teams come. Being the 50th year of Can-Am Speedway, that fact has affected the length of the modified race and prize money. Being the 50th anniversary, uh, we took, made the small block race uh, 50 laps, 5,000 to win, and um, should be a pretty great event. Like I said, a lot of big name guys are coming, and it uh, should be a great show. It typically is the one uh, race um, for our season that uh, packs the place. The car count is expected to be high for the event. We're anticipating close to 50 modifieds for Wednesday. Uh, I think we'll see uh, upwards of 30 plus sprint cars. And the Sportsman Series typically draws 50, 60 cars, so we're going to have a packed house. Um, we do have an autograph um, fan fest with the sprint cars on display from 4 to 5 o'clock. And uh, people come out early and do a little driver fan interaction and get to see what the sprint cars look like. So it's pretty cool. Talk about a fun-filled racing night. It even includes fireworks. The Peg 8's open at 3, general admission opens at 4. Uh, general admission is $25 to get in, and pit price is $40 to get in. And it all kicks off Wednesday, July 3rd at 4 o'clock. Uh, time trials and hot laps, all that stuff start around 6 o'clock. Uh, heat races start at 7. And we have fireworks for after the races as well. Um, we'll be shooting off fireworks throughout the whole program, but uh, we have a nice little show for afterwards. And uh, just really looking forward to it. Bob McCready was the first PAP shootout winner in 1980. Who will win Wednesday night? Perfect game, Collegiate League Baseball action tonight. Watertown defeats Glens Falls 5-0. Well, that's it for now. We'll have the latest from the sports world coming your way on 7 News this evening at 6.